I have a little confession to make. I did do a little bit of damage at Zara and I know I said I was gonna steer away from the hauls, but I couldn't help myself on this occasion. The items were too good. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, as you would have seen by the thumbnail, I have got a big fat juicy Zara haul for you guys. As I mentioned, I am gonna be cutting down on the hauls on my channel a little bit, just because I think I went a little bit overboard in my past life. And honestly, I don't wanna be promoting excessive 600 pound hauls every single week but as I have a couple of holidays coming up and we are sort of getting closer to the spring season I thought I could make an exception so today we have a massive Zara haul as I mentioned there are some incredible pieces on the site at the moment and I'm really really excited to show you guys these bits as always everything will be linked down in the description box in case you want to shop any of these pieces but without further ado let's crack on into this video first up I wanted to start off with a pair of trousers which I don't usually do because it's not necessarily the most interesting part of the video. However, when I tell you that I found the most gorgeous fitting pair of trousers ever. Essentially, they're a pretty flowy wide leg pair of trousers, but I just adored the color of these. As you can see, they're definitely on the cooler side for like a brownie beige gray mix color. But I just absolutely love that at the moment, especially for this winter spring transitional season. I think it's a perfect, perfect color. And definitely with my, I know it sounds stupid, but with my hair being on the cooler tone side at the moment, I just think cooler tones look great. But these are great. They've got a button on the front. They've got a zip. They've got belt loops. The trio that I adore when I'm purchasing trousers and something that I think is so important as well, my sizes in trousers goes up and down and up and down depending on the time of the month, depending on like how bloated I am, etc, etc. So I tend to buy these in a size bigger so that I can wear belt when I'm having a skinny day and so that I can just wear no belt when I'm having a more bloated day. And that's just to be completely transparent because I genuinely do fluctuate rate about two sizes I think in my cycle so if you're the same definitely size up these borderline at the moment are a little bit on the big side but with a belt it would be absolutely fine and the trial clip I showed you without the belt and you can see that there is still like a little bit of a gap but nothing that makes it look like it doesn't fit properly do you know what I mean at the back they have this little v-cut as well in the belt loop line which I don't know why but it's kind of cute and then on the inside they do have this sort of white fabric here so if you did want to flip them around like that I mean from the front arguably it looks a bit questionable but I think if you wanted to do like an open moment like that you absolutely could this would probably tighten them a little bit too so definitely adds to the size versatility of these they're very much a light fabric which I really really like they're flowy they feel good quality they're hemmed at the bottom I like that you can flip this around I should have showed you that in the try and clip but yeah I adore these I put these up in a medium I'd probably be more towards a small usually but I do like things to be oversized especially trousers I like when they're nice and baggy nice and flowy just a gorgeous pair of trousers I know fairly simple I know fairly basic but that's what I'm trying to do at the moment build a very strong capsule wardrobe full of pieces that are timeless and that I'll wear not just this season and not just next season but like for years and years that's the point in the try and clip i did just wear those trousers with a black t-shirt but i did get another option and i'm not gonna lie this is kind of not my regular style it's very much like parisian like what i'd imagine a french girl to wear do you know what i mean like a very french feminine style it's this knit blazer here it doesn't look like a blazer but it kind of feels like a blazer when you have it on and then it has this just one single button kind of tying everything together this i think you could wear as a layering piece you could have things underneath you could wear a t-shirt you could wear a blouse you could wear it open as well but on the website i believe they had this with a pair of trousers quite similar to the ones that i just showed you and they had the girl like not wearing anything underneath and i thought it looked really really cute the way that this button here sits like right under your boobs is so flattering because it does give you a certain amount of support i'm not going to sit here and say it's like a bra but it's a little bit of support like it keeps keeps things contained to a certain extent i didn't feel like i was gonna have a nip slip which is good to be expected but also this brings your waist in in a really really nice way obviously with it only having one button the bottom of this kind of like flares out and i just think it looked absolutely gorgeous it's a very sort of heavy duty material it's got a good amount of shape to it because the knit is really really thick and then it's also got some shoulder pads in as well which i'm always obsessed with definitely a timeless sort of accent 
accessory. Not really an accessory, but a timeless component to any style if it's got shoulder pads. Oh my God, did you just see that? Anyways, what I was saying, if it's got shoulder pads, it just stays stylish, do you know what I mean? But yeah, an unlikely one for me, but I really do like this. And I do definitely think it fits in with the whole classic timeless aesthetic that I'm trying to go for at the moment. As I keep mentioning, I'm sorry for boring you. Again, a really good transitional piece as well because it is quite warm, but it's open at the same time. So going into spring, this is gonna be great. I probably wouldn't wear this in summer for obvious reasons because it's knit and just not really the right fabric. Definitely something I could see myself wearing in the transitional seasons or as a layering piece in winter as well. The next item is most definitely a TikTok favorite. I don't know about you guys, but I've been seeing this dress all over my For You page. It's actually ridiculous. It kind of influenced me to buy it. So those videos are definitely serving their purpose. It is this dress here that has a little belt like right under your boobs. This is a gorgeous item. I love the white and the beige together and then the accent of the belt in like quite a warm tone as well, I think is a great contrast. Essentially, it's just a mini dress, as you can see, that comes down, and then it's got this internal kind of, not really a bra, but the straps kind of come out from within. Does that make any sense? Probably not. It kind of gave me Odd Muse vibes without necessarily being like a straight rip off because I don't think anybody does, but I don't love when huge brands rip off small designers like Odd Muse, for example. I love Odd Muse. I think they're amazing. I think their clothes are incredible, but this just gave me their sort of aesthetic, not necessarily their vibe, but like certainly their aesthetic. And not gonna lie, I loved this on every single person I saw it on. And I do think it looks nice on, but but there's certain aspects to this that are a little bit ill-fitting like the straps here are really long so if you're short like me i'm five foot three for reference it's not to the point where your boobs are literally coming out but it's it's borderline in the sense that just the straps being so long ends up being really really low cut that's another thing that i didn't love about this i don't mind when something sits sort of like here but when something's like borderline showing my nipple that's not my vibe and i think a lot of people will probably agree with me on that as well i don't know there was just something ill-fitting about this i got this in a medium i probably could have got it in a small maybe that would have helped but i just don't know if i'd have been like squeezed alive in a small especially because because on the website it did say that this runs small so I was like oh I'll just size up to a medium and hopefully be okay it wasn't catastrophic but it wasn't like a dress that I would reach for necessarily that fits like incredibly when I'm reaching for a dress for a day or like a night out or something like that I want it to fit perfectly this didn't it was just a little bit too low cut the straps were a little bit long in terms of the actual body it fit really really nice this kind of offers a little bit of support as well because as you can probably tell this isn't the sort of dress that you could wear a bra under maybe a strapless but because it does come down so low you'd probably be a little bit like borderline so the belt does offer some support i don't know i love the concept of this dress i loved it on the model i think it looks absolutely beautiful as i mentioned i love the contrast between the white the beige and the warm toned belt. It's just not something that I was in love with. For that reason, I am gonna be returning this because I promised myself that I'm not gonna keep items of clothing that I'm like, mm, about, do you know what I mean? There we go. Next, we have a little utility jacket. This is a cropped like AF utility jacket. And it's the sort of one that I would wear probably as a top as opposed to a jacket, but I loved it. I thought it was great. I picked this up in a size small. As you can see, it's got these pockets on the front. It's pretty short. It comes like just under my boobs. Not really the sort of top where I could be like having my hands up or arms up or something like that because everything would be out. Utility styles are one of those things that I don't, think will go out of fashion. They're not like the peak of fashion, if you know what I mean, but they're still considered pretty stylish. Cargo, utility, army style, that sort of thing. I really, really like. I love that this is sort of a darker green. It's very much a cool toned green as well. It's perfect. It's just very dark and I love it. And I think it makes it a lot more easy to style as opposed to if it was like a in your face, like khaki color. But yeah, just a pretty easy top to style, whether you wear it with a pair of jeans, leather trousers, like it's great because you can wear it with a number of items. A pretty basic one 
one I don't know if they've kind of tapped in between like utility style and cropped trench for example I mean it probably would explain the detail at the back here that definitely gives off a little bit more trench vibes as do the cuffs on the sleeves as well but overall no complaints I love this I think it's really really cute definitely the sort of thing that I would reach for if I didn't know what to wear on a specific day this is great right the next item is one that kind of surprised me when I got it out the box because I just didn't remember ordering it and I specifically didn't remember ordering something with these massive balls pearls on the top i'd seen it on the website and thought it was just this sort of open detail down here i hadn't noticed the pearls and honestly when i saw it i was like not a hundred percent sure still remains a very classic but not necessarily something that i would go for that being said when i tried it on and given that my hairline kind of hides these i really didn't mind it and it does just look like a necklace so don't knock it till you try it kind of thing this is mega soft the knit on this is really really thick i love the sleeves and the fact that they're a little bit cuffed the white is just beautiful as well it's like a pearly white if that makes sense it's open down the front here and it's got hook and eye clasps to shut it and they actually do hold which is very very good the only thing i will say is that if you do have a slightly bigger chest like i do these holes will sort of like open a little bit it doesn't necessarily look bad but it doesn't look like what it does on the website because the model did have a smaller chest so that's just one thing about it obviously it will look a little bit more like that it's not too booby it's not excessive it's literally fine like i think it looked quite cute but something to bear in mind in case you weren't expecting it but yeah all in all i love this it's cuffed again a little bit at the bottom i mean it just fits really nice the shape to it's gorgeous and it feels really nice against the skin like it's mega mega soft so yeah actually a piece that i picked up and i was like mm, i do like you after all like i do really like it i picked this up in a size small again i had no complaints maybe if i picked it up in a medium it wouldn't have been so like open on the front i'm not 100 percent sure I also paired this with a pair of trousers from the very start of the video too and I think paired together they looked really really gorgeous so highly recommend those two together an unlikely top from me but no complaints finally i picked up an item from the limitless contour collection i have loved this collection ever since 2019 2020 whenever it came out i was obsessed back then i used to pick every single one of my tops up from that collection this time i picked up this one here now i know this is quite an unusual print and unusual style and it's got various different sections to it obviously this bit has like it's a little bit holy it's a little bit see-through same down here and then the rest is quite like thick and opaque so i really like that sort of blend of texture a lot of it of course is the limitless contour regular fabric that we all know and love but yeah this just piqued my interest because i love motocross jackets like racing jackets those sort of things whatever you want to call them and i thought a top with this sort of aesthetic to it could be really cool as well to wear with a pair of like black leather trousers even a pair of jeans i think i tried this on with a pair of jeans for simplicity in the video but going into spring i do think this could be really cute with like a really wide leg pair of leather trousers for example for a night out with the girls it's got a little bit of a high collar here too which i do really enjoy my only sort of negative to this is the fact that it's not a thong thong bodysuits are advantageous in so many ways mainly because you can't see the bodysuit in the trousers do you know what i mean i don't necessarily enjoy the vpl line especially because there is a hem on this so nine times out of ten if you wear a fairly thin pair of leather trousers for example it is gonna show so that would be my only complaint. The good thing about it is that it does have poppers. But yeah, all in all, I really like this. As you can see, the sleeves are, I guess, a cap sleeve, which is really cute. I picked this up in an extra small to small. I think there's two sizes. It's extra small, small, and medium to large. Anyway, guys, that is everything that I've got to show you in today's video. I really, really hope you've enjoyed. As I mentioned, all the links will be down below. I know it's been a really, really long time since I've done a haul, and I promise that I will be back on my YouTube grind whether it be hauls or whether it be more like lifestyle travel vlogs that sort of thing i'm going to marrakesh in a month's time and i will vlog that for you guys because we've got a lot of fun stuff planned but anyways for the time being thank you so much for watching if you haven't already subscribed make sure you do down below and i will hopefully see you in my next video bye